Hello everyone. So today's video is going to be about Tory Burch. Um, I'm going to be showing you in great detail a real Tory Burch bag versus a fake and things to look out for. So stay tuned. Okay, here are the two Tory Burch bags. One is real, one is fake. The dog is real. Um, I purchased one off Poshmark. The other, I went to the Tory Burch store at my local mall and I purchased for the purchase for the purpose of this video. Um, I wanted to show you what types of things to look out for, etc. So the first thing that we're going to start with is the dust bag. So before I even open the bags themselves, I want to show you that you can even tell in the dust bag. Real one. This is the fake one. The differences are slight, but with a keen eye, there we go, you can tell the difference. Notice how much more this magenta color here, how much more vibrant it is compared to this one. Also with the green color, this the real one is much more vibrant than the fake one. And the pattern itself is just way more distinct because of the vibrancy so that's one thing to look for also you'll notice that the material i mean the sun is just like really messing this up hold on All right, now we're getting into the the tea here they are just by looking at them can you tell which one is fake which one is the real deal i'm gonna put them whoops put them a little closer together can you tell can you tell them now? What about now? So if you look real close at the leather, let me zoom in here on the logo. Look at the leather. Look at the grain of the leather. Look at the texture. I mean, you obviously cannot feel through the screen, but you can just see the texture. And I apologize for the not being in focus every single time. Also, look at the emblem. That's very important. The little logo there. Okay. Now, here's the fake one. I'm going to zoom in on the leather, just like how I did the other one. Look at the leather. Do you notice anything? Anything at all. Gosh dang it. Anything at all. You'll notice that it's not as... You don't see any of the characteristics of the leather or the grain of the leather it just looks too perfect okay now I'm gonna zoom in on the logo look at that look just look at it how different right there's the fake there's the real one okay people are getting really good at counterfeits nowadays so I'm gonna show you what else to look for to ensure that your bag is authentic um, number one what to look for is the T logo okay so for this bag specifically gosh I need to silence my phone for this bag specifically um, this these are the things that you want to look for all right I decided to go freehand because my little mount thing. So if I'm wobbly, sorry. Um, okay, look at this T here. And I'm gonna zoom in even more. Notice the color and how the T just looks like, there's no curvature for it. It just looks like a straight up T stamp. Um, maybe it looks similar to the actual Tory Burch um, T. But if you look really closely, um, it just looks like a straight up, like maybe old school tea. Okay, now I'm going to show you the real one. Here's the real Tory Burch. And notice the gold color. It's way more yellow gold. The other one was more like a muted gold. Notice the tea. Look how curvy it is. Um, it looks like the tea that you see on all the other bags on their gift wrapping and everything you can notice big time and I'll actually insert a photo too showing them like stacked that way you can really tell so the next thing that you want to look for um, 
and this bag is the suede. So I'm actually going to unbuckle this, okay? Also, notice how, um, how well this leather moves. It's very soft, it's a very soft leather. The leather is the German calfskin, and this is an extremely soft leather, and it moves, it's not stiff, it moves. It, it's very soft. So Tory Budge obviously has real suede in their bags, and you'll notice the color, notice the color, and also notice how the suede moves. Okay, you see that? It moves. It's it's a dense or not dense, but it has depth enough for it to move, you know, like natural suede does. It changes the color as you move over it. So, notice that and that's on both sides. Okay. It's on both sides. Here is the one. Even the color looks different. And this is hard to open. Okay, open. And this bag is busted. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's the bag. Look at the leather. Does it move easily? It pops open a little bit. But is it as flimsy as the other bag? No. This leather is stiff. It's fake. And remember how easily I could flip this little flap over like that? This does, this does not do that. I kind of have to really mess with it to open up. Okay, look at this suede. Does it, does it move? That's a negative. It does not move. It just feels felt. And this leather here too, or leather, <laughs> suede, it moves a little bit, but this, this has no depth to it. It just feels felt. Um, side by side. It's gonna be a little tricky. Side by side. This is the real deal. Even look at the color, the color of the suede. Okay, side by side. Can you tell the difference? See how I, I can easily flip this over. This one, not so much. I really have to mess with it in order for it to stay flipped. Well, you know what? Let me do this side. That way it looks. Well, that's the back and the back. Okay, well, here's the front. <laughs> same, same thing. I can easily pull it over like this. Look at this one. It's very stiff. Was that a good representation? I don't know. But um, anyway, here's a fake one. Fake one, look at the suede. Look at the real one. Let's see if I can get two arms in there. Oh, can you tell? I can tell. Here is the two bags side by side so you can tell. This one sucks. Even clasping it is difficult. It does not sit well. Look at look at how it's all crinkly when I close the clasp. And look at this one. Perfect. This one is just the quality is not there. The look is there. The look, but the quality. Well, oh, can't even stand up as well. The quality is not there, and that's my foot right there. <laughs> ah! So. The inside of the bags look almost dang near similar. And I'm gonna show you. Let me take this strap out. First, okay, let, let me let me show you this, okay? Let me show you this. So the bag is like this, right? And the bag can expand. Okay. If you look here, the bag can expand to be bigger or wider, you know, if you have more stuff to put in here. So watch how easily this bag opens up. Okay, notice that. The fake one. Here's a thing clasp again. I'm gonna try to open it up the same. Yep, well, that, that kind of opened the same, didn't it? <laughs> Let's do it again. All right. 
Okay. It does it doesn't pop open easily. There. Now you kind of have to pull this to get it all the way open like that. Okay, so here's the inside of the bag and we'll talk about the strap later. So here's the inside of the bag. Has the same compartment as the real one, which I'll show you. Um, has the same material, like um, material on the inside. Has the same divider even has the same little buttons, which are stamped. Is it focused? Um, yeah, it has the same uh, stamping there. Okay, next is the tag. Well, actually, let me show you the inside of the, uh, the real bag. Fake bag. Real bag. Okay, so like I said, it's super easy to pop this bag all the way open. Look at that. Okay, um, has the same, here's that same card case flap thingy in there. Same divider, same button style. What is different though is also the color. If you look at the colors on the inside, it's slight, but the, the real bag is more rich, more rich brown. If you can tell, I really hope that you can. Let's zoom in. It's a more rich brown. Well, I'm not even holding the same side. It's a more rich brown. The real bag is from the fake one. The back of the bags look extremely similar. Um, again, the only thing that you'll really notice is the grain and natural characteristics of the leather in this real bag here versus this one. This one looks extremely perfect. Um, some leathers, smooth leathers are like that, but this bag in particular shows off its natural characteristics in the leather. I mean, can you see all of that? All of those natural grains and I don't, I'm not a leather expert, but I know natural leather shows some characteristics all right and this one this one reminds me of a bag that you would buy from like target that's what i keep referring it to you know those bags you buy from target that are like heck cute cheap and they're just like super chic and they're like perfect like this because it's not real leather that's what this reminds me of now i buy this for 20 bucks 30 bucks at target heck yeah but not for what i paid for it all right, now another important thing to note is how they even close. Um, when I try to close this from it being open, do you see what's happening here? It does not easily move. I have to like squish it, then I can close it. This one, this one's open just like how that one was. I'll even open it a little bit more. When I wanna close it, it's easy because the leather is soft, it's movable, this one is extremely stiff. This is the fake bag that I'm holding and I want you to notice the T-stamps, how they look legit, okay? People can be easily thrown off by this bag that it's authentic, but until you put it up next to the real bag, then you'll really know. So these are the things that you need to look out for to ensure that your bag is authentic because even though it has all these things to show this must be a legit Tory bag because it has all the proper stampings and everything like that. The craftsmanship is what gives it away. Um, again, this is the fake bag. And this is the real bag. Even the gold is different. And I'm going to show you the stamping. That way you can see, like, whoops, the Polish Nikes. It is the same. There. Same stamping, this is the real bag. This is the real deal. This is the authentic tag set from the Tory Burch bag that I bought in the store. Comes with three, and I want you to notice what is on the tag. 
says Lee Radswell, petite double bag, gives you the style number, the color, website, barcode, suggested retail. Look at the sizing of it. Look at the back of it. Everything is centered where it needs to be. It also comes with these other two, but this is the one that is important. And there's the tag that was on the fake one, that is on the fake one. First of all, it's attached. None of the, um, I don't know how these bags come when you order them online, but this is the second Tory Burch bag that I got where the tag was inside of the bag. It was not hung from the bag. So I don't know if they're actually like that. Um, these two have like little holes in them, but the main tag does not. So on this bag, this is the main tag. And I want you to notice how off-centered this emblem is. Tory Burch is a high quality brand of handbags. I think they would know to center their emblem on their tags because this just looks messy. Okay, and Tory Burch is not about that. Then when you open it up, look what's written on here. Lee Radswell small double bag. This is supposed to be the petite bag. So even the name was wrong. Whatever all this mumbo jumbo is, I don't know. On the actual tag, it's supposed to be the style number. And the color is there. The one size is there. But look how much bigger this tag is than this one. This is supposed to, I don't know if maybe tags are like this for other bags, but for this specific bag, this is supposed to be what the tag looks like. So they did a pretty good job of making a tag that looks similar, but you can tell the real, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it's supposed to be, okay? Tory Burch bags don't have like serial numbers on the inside of the bag for you to, you know, easily tell if it's authentic or not. There's really no way of telling whether or not a bag is fake other than the quality and craftsmanship of the bag. Now I will say there is a tag on the inside of this bag. This is gonna be possible to show. It's right there. Blink, right there. Okay, all it says, all it says is made in China and Okay, I'm just kidding about all of that. This tag is extremely hard to read, so I honestly didn't see this before. This is new discovery. So that little tag that I was saying about, that white tag, that's right there. I don't know if you can see. It's my camera. I'm going to focus. Right there. Okay, I cannot get the camera to zoom in on that to show what it says. But I will tell you that it says made in China. It has like a really long digit number. And then underneath it, it has a four digit number. And this bag in particular, it says 0820. On the tag here, it says 0820 under the item number. So I'm going to see if that other bag has that. We got them. So this bag has that tag too. Um, it says made in China. You can kind of see the tag right there. Um, anyway. This tag says made in China, a bunch of numbers, and it says 0320. Nowhere on this tag does it say 0320. I don't think that it's a coincidence that in the authentic bag, the number on the inside of the bag and the tag match. I don't believe that's a coincidence. So the fact that this bag has a number and does not match the tag whatsoever, that is another telltale sign that it is not authentic. Next thing I want to show is the straps because that was another big red flag for me that it was fake. So this is the real strap. The way that it opens is weird. Okay, you know how usually like these dog leash looking clips have like a little that? This one you have to twist for it to open. Can you see? You have to twist it like that. Okay, and then it has the stamped T on this little... Um, well, I'm so sorry. My camera keeps not focusing. It has a stamp T right there. Tory Burch craftsmanship is really, really good. Um, when I asked about their warranty and how their bags are made, you know, their quality is just excellent. <laughs> um, so looking at this strap 
okay? Even this little ball joint is different on the fake one. The top one is the real one, the bottom is the fake one. And you can just tell from here, see how this one has a flat top? This one is more round. Um, you can even tell by the reflection that this one has a flat top, okay? So, there's that. Okay, here's the fake one. Notice how big the screw is on the back. Here's the real one. Look. Do you see that? It's all in the details, my friends. Come on, are you kidding me, camera? Can you focus for once in your gosh dang world? Boom. Alright, look at that. Look at the craftsmanship there. Um, Tory Burch is not about that. Thank you for much. Compared to the real one. Look at that. Would Tory Burch do what's going on on the right? I do not think so. One thing that I did want to mention is that Tory Burch does not authenticate their bags. Um, if you took a bag that you think is fake, if you took it to the store, the employees cannot authenticate your bag. Um, I took my fake bag, this one here, I took it to the store so that I could tell for myself whether or not it was fake. Um, comparing it next to the authentic bag, you can you can tell by yourself um, that it's fake. Um, you can authenticate it all by yourself just by the, the quality, the um, embellishments, the stitching, everything like that. So again, Tory Burch employees, if you take it to the store, they cannot authenticate it. But the employees were nice enough to let me take pictures of the bags side by side. I took it upon myself to go there and investigate for myself. So I, I shared the scandalous story with them and, and they were shocked themselves that there are already counterfeits out there of this uh, double bag because it is newer. So I just wanted to point that out that um, Tory Burch does not authenticate their bags. But if you look for the things that I had mentioned, then you'll be able to authenticate it yourself. Okay, so nearing the end of this video, um, the reason I, I really wanted to make this video is because I am a new fan of Tory Burch. Um, I don't own anything Tory Burch before this Lee Radswell bag. This Lee Radswell bag really stole my heart. It's so classy, petite. And this bag is not included in any promotions. After talking with an associate, they informed me that it's excluded from all promotions. Um, it's not even part of it, their employee discount. So if you see this bag at a lower than retail value price, um, look for the things I showed you. And just in the back of your mind, um, take note of all the pictures, ask a lot of questions, and things like that. I bought this from Poshmark, and Poshmark has been really great um, in their customer service. And the fact that I submitted this case yesterday, I, I received this fake bag in the mail yesterday and knew right away that something was off about this bag. And, okay, Bane, all right. Okay. Uh, okay, thanks so much. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, counterfeits of this bag exist. So be ha uh, have a watchful eye. Look for the telltale signs. Look at the craftsmanship. Ask to see lots of pictures. Um, and honestly, I thought that because this individual had a lot of great reviews that I was good. But clearly, you know, some of the bags that she had, he or she has already sold are counterfeits and people had no idea. I mean, looking at these two, this is, this is such a good counterfeit bag it, they're so extremely sim similar until you get up close and personal and look at the quality of the craftsmanship the leather the detailing everything like that go on um so those are the things to watch for and i really thought that this um well i really think that this video is going to be extremely useful to people in the future because like i said this is a newer bag it's exclusive so more bags i'm sure more fake uh, versions of this bag I'm sure will be online in all these different places and so just you know be careful and uh yeah <laughs> just be careful well thank you for tuning in to my super choppy and 
a spur of the moment kind of video. I hope that this is helpful to anybody out there who's shopping for this petite double bag. If you are able to get your hands on it, um, it's really beautiful. It's such a soft, luxurious bag. Goes with everything. It's petite. It's a little perfect for fall. Um, and it really is a statement bag. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.